Welcome back. Well, this is part two of the Turnigy Trackstar TS900 high voltage servo. Now, this is a rebranded all turn 992 um, titanium gear high voltage servo. Sorry about the background noise. I got the kids playing in the rec room here, but anyways, so it's all aluminum case, which is very nice. It dissipates heat awesome. Now, I'm very impressed with this servo. This is one of the better servos I think I've ever owned. I've only owned you know, realistically, maybe 10. Um, but this one here, being at the price point it is, is a much better bargain than any other servo I've been able to find on the market. Now, it's rated at 7.4 volts, but you can safely run this directly off of a 2S pack, meaning you can run it at 8.4 volts continuous with no problems. I actually contacted Altern which is the uh, original manufacturer and uh, they confirmed that for me it is completely okay to run it off of 8.4 volts once you up the voltage you up the torque and the speed again so at 7.4 it's rated at 0 0.09 at 18 kilograms at 8.4 volts I, I noticed a difference I don't know how much but I'm, I'm, it's considerable probably change it I'd say to at least to a 20 21 kilogram servo at you know 0 0.08 0 0.07 something like that I've actually they just came back in stock these servos I already ordered another one as soon as they came in stock I got an email I ordered another and uh, actually a different Trinity servo actually a little bit more money it was full 40 bucks and it's a copy of a KST servo which is 8.4 volts as well but it's uh, 18 volts or 18 kg at that at 0 0.07 so we'll see we're going to compare the two and then we'll know but very impressed with this servo so far wow um, definitely highly recommended I took the case off just to kind of show you the guts and glory here all metal gear now it's not all titanium gears but the ones that are uh, the ones that count are they're all metal gear though there's no plastic gears in here at all I added a little bit of my own bearing grease however there was some grease in here already uh, it wasn't totally dry but I would add a little bit if I were you it doesn't have o-rings so it isn't waterproof however I am going to use corrosion X and waterproof this servo so I'll go ahead and pop the rest of it apart and show you okay so there you go it's the guts and glory there's the motor Japanese brushless motor um, you see some of the circuit board up on the top there it's a four slider indirect potentiometer so it's not the pot type Uh, it's a very quality made servo. I am very impressed with it. Doesn't get hot at all. It made a huge difference. I was just using that little Tower Pro. Uh, where is it here? This guy. 996R. I think it's at 15 kilograms or something like that, but it's slow. And this thing is just whoa, night and day difference. Highly recommend if you're looking, if you're in the market for a servo for your 10th scale or even 8th scale, this can, this can do it. Um, I can't believe the holding power and stuff. It just increases the controllability of your vehicle like tenfold. If you're using a stock plastic gear or uh, something underpowered, uh, you're going to need to up the voltage, right, uh, to run a high voltage servo like this. If you're running it off just a stock BEC like I was in this truck, it only puts out six volts. So you need to up the voltage. So what did I do? I went out and picked up, uh, this is a Castle. BEC. Now this is probably the best bet you can get in BECs in the market today. Um, so I'm plug on my, like I punch all my own connectors on here so I've made it really simple. You can see uh, the way I had to wire this up. You have to separate the power lines so that you're only getting power from one source, right? Or else your receiver will provide power as well as the BEC. Well this BEC is rated at uh, 4.8 to 9 volts depending on where you want it. You can set it yourself. You do need a castle link to program it, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But I, uh, you, any hobby shop, they usually have one. They'll do it for you if you buy it there. So that's what I did. They do charge you a bit more, like you know, 30 bucks or so, 25 bucks, 30 bucks for something like this at a hobby shop. If you order it online, you can get it for about 21, 20 bucks, something like that. If you want to ship it and wait for it highly worth it this is the only one I've really been able to find well there's other ones but they're a lot more expensive Sky RC makes some and there's some for the aircraft industry that uh, are pretty 
nice dual output, that kind of thing. But for what I need, 10 amps, this is lots. So basically you power it, this is the power input on this one side, and then this runs to whatever you're, you're powering. In most cases it would run to a receiver, and then the receiver itself takes that power from this and splits it to everything else. So if you're running a higher power off this, some receivers can handle it. I could put 9 volts to this receiver and then it's going to power anything plugged into it at 9 volts, right? However, this one does not. So it can't handle that voltage. So what I did is I just made a separate circuit. What I do is I still power the receiver from this at 6 volts and then I'm powering my servo independently with this BEC set to 8.4 volts. So that way I'm only powering the servo. I'm not powering anything else. So I can't overvolt anything, right? So that's very simple to do. You just need to kind of branch off a circuit. You need to remove, when you hook it up to your um, receiver, the servo line itself, only the one signal wire gets hooked up. The other two power lines from that, the red and the black, that would normally in the three plug, right? You se right here, you separate the white. This goes to the receiver. This goes to your BEC, which I've wired up with all the plugs. I did a really, really small, I shortened it all up and made it really tidy, right? So now this itself is going to power that. This goes to the receiver. And then this is getting plugged into power. Sorry, it goes this way. Right, power to here, this goes to the servo, this goes to the receiver. But it works very slick, and then uh, you have that higher voltage output just to run your servos. So there you have it. Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd give this second review and let you all know it's very worth it. A very well uh, thought out and designed servo. I like it a lot. I liked it so much I went and bought another. So there you have it, guys. I will... Uh, Put this all back together, hook it up, and show you what it sounds like. Okay, so let's see what it is hooked up. Keep in mind, I'm doing this with one hand. Sounds very nice. Super quiet, actually, for a Metal Gear servo. Very impressed with it. So, anyway, there's my review. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and I will be happy to help you out. And keep an eye out for a new one. I got that new Turnigy servo coming which we'll directly compare to this, and we will see which one is actually faster. So thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.